Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Eric Weitz. I'm head of drama. Um, I don't have the PowerPoint, so I'm hoping you'll just listen. And if you have any further questions, I'll take some at the end of the period here, and I'll even take some outside if we run over time. Um, I'd advise you to go over to the lower loose hall where our table is, and there are present and for, uh, former students there who I'm sure would be willing to be quite candid about what it's like to be in the program, and they would be a valuable resource for you. Um, I'll just make it clear right now, this is not the, uh, the new Lear program, um, which the uh, session for will be in the Davis Theater at 2.05, I believe it is. Um, and that is for people who are only interested in training to be an actor um, 12, if not 24 hours a day. Yeah, that's the intensive conservatory style training course. Um, and that's not what we do, but um, when we used to have the BAS, the Bachelor in Actor Studies, what would happen was that people are genuinely interested in, in drama, in theater, they might apply to both, because um, the Lear will only be taking 14 people, and if you're really seriously and genuinely interested in theater, and even um, willing to try out different aspects of it, if you, um, but you sort of entertain the possibility of being a director or a writer, um, or a dramaturg, or, or anything else, or if you just have a general love for the thing, um, then our program is probably better for that. In any case, um, many people apply for both, and then they decide what to do when the time comes. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll just say you can apply for our course in two general ways. One is called Single Honors, and that means all you do is drama for four years. Um, and the other is two-subject moderatorship, or TSM as we call it for short. And in that way you can take drama half-time and another course like French or English or philosophy um, or um, any number of other things. Um, the other half, um, you take them evenly for three years and then in the fourth year you decide which one to major in and you take all of your fourth year in that class which would be us if you decide to major in drama, obviously. Uh, students in either category are eligible to study abroad during third year, and we in the department have direct links with um, institutions in London, Paris, Berlin, and California. Um, and uh, that is something that you're encouraged to avail of, um, but you don't have to. Um, so the outline for the course is fairly simple. Um, in the first two years, which we call the freshman years, um, everybody in single honors and in TSM takes this one big course that we call Introduction to Drama, Theater, and Performance. And it amounts to a series of smaller units, maybe three to four weeks at a time, where you concentrate on some aspect of theater study. And I'll say, um, just by prefacing, that this course is not entirely practical um, in addition to what I said before about it not being the acting course. There is academic study and there, um, there is essay writing and there are exams involved, um, but we do try to maintain a strong practical anchoring to it because our general philosophy in the course is that practice and theory are two sides of the same skin. And um, in terms of people who are particularly interested in practicing, um, being um, a theater thinker is something that you will help you be a better theater practitioner. Um, so in these first two years, you'll take these, um, these smaller units. The first one may be to do with performance analysis. There may be one on Shakespeare, on melodrama, on um, performance art, um, on Greek theater. Um, and they go for the first two years. Basically, you spend six hours in the class each week with these. Two hours would be in lectures two one-hour lectures, which would likely happen in this very lecture theater, two hours in seminar, which would happen in the Beckett Center building in a smaller room, and that would be in a smaller class, and one two-hour practical workshop, which would be intended to um, make some practical connection to what you've been studying and hearing about for the previous uh, lectures and seminars. So for example, if it was the unit on Greek drama, on the practical session, we might take 
a chorus from Agamemnon and try to put it on its feet in the studio and see how it might have been staged in ancient Greece and then how we might look to do it now, since we're not the same theater makers or audience as in ancient Greece. Um, and we would do the same kinds of things, say, for um, a unit on Shakespeare. We would look at the way that maybe practice happened then. And so we would try to rehearse a scene given Q, the, the Q scripts that they would have used then, rather than the full, the full text that we're used to now, you would only get the last few words of the person who talked before you, and then your speech. Um, and that can be a, a disconcerting, but an interesting way to approach a text, not knowing as much about everybody else's part as we do now when we can read the whole text all at the same time. Anyway, these, um, these units um, make up the first two years of your study, and they are taken by both single honors and TSM students, and you're both combined, so you're not kept separate. Um, the, the basic idea is in a lecture, someone talks to you about something, like I'm lecturing now. In a seminar, you, you are meant to be doing more of the discussing, so it's a chance on a smaller scale for you to be talking about some of the issues and plays that come into play there. And then the practical session is a way for you to really uh, embody that practical connection that we're looking for in our students um, between practice and theory. If you're a TSM student, you spend your other six or so hours a week in the other department. If you're a single honor student, you do initial, uh, an additional several hours a week, um, taking a class called Introduction to Performing, which... Um, we acknowledge that not everybody who comes to us wants to be an actor, and we love to have people who are more interested in design or in directing or in playwriting. But introduction to performing is a way of getting everybody into the studio and at least sort of getting your feet wet in terms of theater practice. So you wouldn't be assessed necessarily on your acting, but you would be assessed on your ability to work as part of an ensemble, um, to put your mind to a particular practical theater problem. You will learn about Stanislavski and Michael Chekhov and Meyerhold and, and Bogart and other um, highly visible practitioners over the past hundred years or so um, of theater practice. Um, and that would be a chance for you to experiment in that way. The, a good way to think about it is uh, as sort of a lab, a theater lab. Um, then you would also take a, a course in um, technical theater, um, so you would be hanging around the theater, well not just hanging around, but you would be under the guidance of our technical director, and uh, you would learn about lights and set and props and costume, um, and you would provide some assistance on one of the upper class directing shows uh, as in one of these supporting categories. That's basically the first two years, or at least the first two and a half, uh, one and a half years, <clears throat> At the end of second year, all, all freshman students take part in what we call the second year ensemble production, which is just one big production involving everybody, hopefully in whatever capacity that intrigues them the most. So if you are interested in acting, um, you can be in it. If you are more interested in directing, you might be able to be an assistant director or something, or a designer, or a dramaturg, or whatever else there may be. Um, and this year, um, Raymond Keane, um, who's the artistic director of Barabbas and who is a clown, is going to direct our second year production this year. So we're very much looking forward to that. Um, in any case, um, after your first two years, we go into the, what we call the sophister years, and those are very much of your own making. We have um, an array of about 15 to 20 optional modules, and you take the ones that interest you. We do insist that you take some kind of a balance between practical and theoretical, um, but basically <coughs> you can pretty much make your own schedule. Um, we have what we call A courses, B courses, and C courses. Um, A courses are entirely practical, so you can take acting, um, and you can take directing and playwriting, and drama in the community, and devising, and those are entirely practical courses. They're assessed by um, practical presentations and ongoing participation. They are not examined by essay or by exam, although you would be meant to be keeping a log on these, on these courses. Um, 
we would have entirely academic courses, um, which we call C courses, and that might be women in theater, um, theater and nationalism, uh, multiculturalism in theater, and other things like that. And we do have an, a range of B courses, which would meant to be meant to um, split themselves between the theoretical and the practical. I teach a course in comedy. There is one in um, performance and technology. There has been one in studies in Beckett, um, in theater administration, things like that. Um, so basically, that's what you do for um, the third year and the fourth year if you um, are either a single honor or a TSM who majors with us. If you're a TSM who majors in your other subject, then you would take those half of your classes in those courses in third year, and you would leave us after that. Um, in the fourth year, if you're a single honor or a TSM who majors with us, you will take a certain number of those modules, and then you can take some of them to an advanced level. We have acting, directing, uh, playwriting, and design, all which um, you can take as advanced classes. Um, and you also write a dissertation on a subject of your choice, and supervised by one of us. Um, most of them are um, 7,000 words. Uh, if you choose a subject which demands more than that, or if you want to put more into it, you can choose to do one of 12,000 words and take one less module. Um, that really is the basic structure of our course for both single honors and TSM. In those um, in the first two years and in B and C courses, you will have essays to hand in and you um, will often have uh, exams to take at the end of the year. Um, so what I would say is that if you're um, in the freshman years, there's not that much practical work in the classroom unless you're taking the introduction to performing classes. Um, but they do not amount to putting on plays and such. I will say, however, that there is plenty of opportunity for you to be involved in plays, either as an actor or in any other capacity, outside of our classes, but connected to the department. We have advanced directing scenes um, in the autumn, and they use a lot of uh, people from the department um, in all capacities. And we have the Dublin University Players, which we just call Players, and it's in our building, and it's, a, it's the Trinity Drama Club. It's a tremendous club, and they're hugely well-organized and well-attended, and most of our people belong to it. And that is a really good place for you to get involved in something that's entirely new to you. If you've never written a play or if you've never directed something, that may be, provide an opportunity for you to be involved in that way. And certainly, if you're interested in acting, and, and you're looking for challenges outside of classwork, you can be involved in that way there. And we encourage these things. The only thing is that we say that you're not allowed to let that outside work conflict with your classwork. Um, but most people are able to take on at least one, if not two, outside projects a term, and it doesn't affect their classwork. Um, by way of application to the course, um, you express your interest, um, as usual, through uh, the CAO. Um, if you apply to the course, which I think you can begin to do now, we will send you out a questionnaire that we ask you to fill out and return to us. I would say that almost everybody who fills out a questionnaire will be given um, a, a, an interview, which will happen sometime in April. Um, what, the reason we do this is because we want to make sure that you have, first of all, a definite um, and somewhat proven interest in drama. Um, you don't have to have a, a huge amount of experience. Um, being in school plays or being in amateur drama or taking speech and drama are all viable ways for you to show that you um, do have uh, an interest in this. We just want to make sure that you have enough interest to know what you're getting into and that it's not just something like it seems like it would be cool to do. Um, so uh, we do have these interviews. We take basically 16 honors, uh, single honors, and 24 TSM a year. But in the interviews, we're not there to pick the class. We take as many people as we can, as many people as we think would be right for the course. We're also looking for a certain kind of 
commitment and genuine interest in drama, and we're looking for people who have, um, and that is to say theater, not, not just film. If you're just interested in film, then you shouldn't come to us. If you're interested in drama and film also, that's fine. Um, but what we are looking for are people who work together and people who uh, are willing to take the initiative to put on a show or to do the, do the grunt work themselves in the service of doing a show with, uh, with friends or classmates. Um, and so that is the basic idea. It, it is in no way some kind of an X factor thing where you're going to be coming in and we're going to be you know, giving um, pointed judgments about your abilities or anything. We're more interested that, about your interest than, than your ability at the moment. Um, so what you'll do is you'll send back in your questionnaire. You'll most probably be given an appointment sometime in April. You will come in um, in the morning on a given day, we ask everybody to come at 9.30 just to register and we have a short warm-up um, just to get everybody loosened up, hopefully, and a little bit relaxed. Um, it's not really part of the, um, of the interview, except we do look to see that you're listening and that you are working cooperatively with the other people who are there. You will then have a, uh, an interview of about seven or eight minutes um, with a couple of our staff members who will ask you questions about your questionnaire that relate to answers on your questionnaire. And then if you're, if you're there for TSM, you would be done. And if you're there for single honors, we'll ask to see you again in the afternoon with some further evidence of your practical interest. You can do a monologue, or if you're not interested in acting, you can bring in a portfolio that would have design or directing or any other evidence of your practical accomplishment. Again, it's not, we're, we're not looking for fully blown artists here. We're looking for people just who are genuinely interested in drama um, and basically in all parts of it. Um, it's then pretty much up to the CAO points, and they can be quite high. Um, I will say that um, if you impress us as having you know, the right kind of attitude or the kind of attitude and self-starting ethic that we're looking for, it's possible that uh, you would get what we call a minimum points entry space, and that is that you only have to get 350. Yeah? Those spaces are not to be counted on, but we do have them. Yeah? Um, and so what I would say is not to come in and just say again and again and again, I love theater and I've always wanted to do this. It's just to demonstrate your, um, I don't know, your, your fire for it in what you've done and in trying to think analytically about the way um, theater happens. For example, there will be um, one question. The first question is to talk about the last two shows that you've seen in, and one aspect of them and talk about them. And what would be, we would be looking for is something more than I thought the lights were terrific or I thought the acting was lousy or whatever. We would want some more deeper fit thought about why you thought that was the case. Well, coincidentally, it's time for me to finish. So thank you very much for listening.